Let's take an example of an explosion reaction. Here we have ammonium nitrate that decomposes into nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, and water vapor. And it does so in this ratio. 2 is to 2 is to 1 is to 4. So let's give this ratio in various formats so that we can answer questions about it. Pause the movie while you complete this table. So we have 2NH4NO3 for every 2N2 and every 1O2 and every 4H2O. So that's 2 moles of ammonium nitrate for 2 moles of nitrogen, 1 mole of oxygen, that's oxygen gas, O2, 4 moles of water. Now we could give this in a gram ratio all the way, but let's just give this in the format asked in the table. What is the mass in grams of 2 moles of ammonium nitrate? What is the volume in decimeter cubed of 2 moles of nitrogen, 1 mole oxygen, and 4 mole water vapor, that is? So we go to the periodic table to help us with this first one. 1 mole of ammonium nitrate has a mass of 28 for the N's, there are two N's, plus 4 for the H's, there are four H's, plus 3 times 16 for the O's. That gives us the molar mass of ammonium nitrate as 80 grams per mole. So 2 moles of ammonium nitrate have a mass of 2 times 80, 160 grams. At STP, 2 moles of nitrogen gas will have a volume of 2 times 22,4 decimeter cubed. 1 mole will have a volume of 22,4 decimeter cubed, 1 mole of oxygen. And 4 moles of water vapor will have a volume of 4 times 22,4 decimeters cubed. So now we have our reacting ratio and we've got it in a format where everything is equivalent to everything else for this particular reaction and so we can use this to help us answer questions. What is the volume, how many decimeters cubed of nitrogen is formed from 500 grams of ammonium nitrate? So we need grams of ammonium nitrate at the bottom, decimeters cubed of nitrogen at the top. 2 times 22,4 decimeter cubed of nitrogen reacts with 2 times 80 grams of ammonium nitrate. 500 times 2 times 22.4 divided by 2 divided by 80 equals 140 decimeter cubed nitrogen. What is the volume of oxygen? How many decimeter cubed of oxygen is formed from 500 grams of ammonium nitrate. So decimeter cubed oxygen and grams of ammonium nitrate are the important things here. So we need that in our reacting ratio, which is going to serve as a conversion factor. At the bottom, we must have grams ammonium nitrate. At the top, we must have decimeters cubed of oxygen. They react in the ratio 22,4 decimeter cubed of oxygen gas is formed every time 2 moles, which has a mass of 2 times 80 grams of ammonium nitrate, decomposes. So then how much oxygen is formed when 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes? 500 times 22.4 divided by 2 divided by 80, 70 decimeter cubed of oxygen gas. What is the volume? How many decimeters cubed of water are formed? So decimeter cubed water is important in the ratio. Since we asked something about decimeter cubed of water, formed from 500 grams of ammonium nitrate. So grams of ammonium nitrate in the reacting ratio is also valuable since that corresponds to the information given. So what conversion factor must we multiply this by? We need grams of ammonium nitrate at the bottom and we need decimeter cubed of water, water vapor at the top. So we need a volume mass reacting ratio for this particular reaction. Four moles, which at STP has a volume of 4 times 22,4 decimeter cubed of water vapor will be formed every time 2 moles, which has a mass of 2 times 80 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes. So we apply this reacting ratio to the actual situation we have in this question where we have 500 grams of ammonium nitrate 
to find out how many decimeter cubed of water will actually be formed in this situation. 500 times 4 times 22.4 divided by 2 divided by 80 and we find that the answer is 280 decimeter cubed of water vapor will be formed when 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes. So for all of these questions we were asked what's the volume of the gas that will be formed when 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes. So we need to go back and we see that when this 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes, 280 decimeter cube of water vapor will be formed and 70 decimeter cubed of oxygen gas will be formed and 140 decimeter cubed of nitrogen is formed when this 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes. So to find out the total volume of gas formed when 500 grams of ammonium nitrate decomposes, we simply add those three values. 140 decimeter cubed of nitrogen plus 70 decimeter cubed of oxygen gas plus 280 decimeter cubed of water vapor, which gives us a total of 490 decimeters cubed. 490 liters. A decimeter cubed is the same as a liter and that is why an explosion reaction is so destructive because from a small quantity 500 grams of ammonium nitrate which could occupy a small volume that's half a kilogram of ammonium nitrate that won't occupy a very big container to fill the container. But when you then heat that ammonium nitrate, it forms gases which have a combined volume of 490 decimeter cubed, 490 liters. That's quite a large volume. And so this is an explosive reaction because from a small quantity, from a small volume of reactant, you get a large volume of products and that explosion outward to take up the greater volume in the products can be destructive.